Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a soft nude makeup look, so let's get right to it. First, I'm going to start off priming my face because this is what you should always do before you apply makeup. Today I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I really like this primer because a little bit goes a long way and it's just really, really smooth. Since I want today's look to be really glowy, I'm going to go in with my NYX Liquid Illuminator before I do my foundation just to add an extra glow under the foundation. Then I'm going to go in with my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Orange and just um, conceal my under eyes. As you guys know, this just helps relieve any dark circles under your eyes. Now I'm going to go in and apply my MAC Waterweight Foundation in NC25 using my MAC Brush 196. This foundation is super, super lightweight and it's very light coverage. It's really, really liquid. So if you're just looking for a light coverage day, this is perfect. But if you want something thicker, you may want to go with more of a medium coverage foundation. Brush is specifically made for this foundation. Um, so I really like it, but I also feel like I need to go in with my body blender to help blend it out just a little bit more. After that, I'm going to go in with my Sephora Gel Concealer and Custard and just hit my under eyes a little bit with a nice little highlight. I'm not going to overdo it today because I still want it to be very soft and very glowy. And don't forget to make sure that your beauty blender is just slightly damp when you blend in your under eye or when you're just blending in anything in general. Now I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. This is my favorite contour palette and I'm just going to use, I have actually mixed two of the lighter shades um, to set my under eye just because I think mixing them matches my color a little bit more than just using one or the other. Today I'm going to do a soft nude look on my eyes so before I start that I'm going to prime them with my Urban Decay um, eyeshadow primer. You just dab a little bit on your eyelids and just pat it in with your finger or your beauty blender. Then I'm going to go in with my Stella eyeshadow palette in Soul. I really love these colors. They're very neutral and the pigments are really great. And I'm just taking a regular eyeshadow brush and using one of the shadows which I will display below because I can't remember the name of it. And I'm just putting it all over my lid um, kind of as a base. Then I'm going to take two of the darker brown shades and apply it to my crease. Um, this look is supposed to be really soft so I'm not going to overdo this part either because I don't want it to look like a cut crease. I just want a little bit of depth there. The key to keeping this look super soft is just to blend out that crease as much as possible. You want to add a little bit of color in there and a little bit of depth but you don't want to overdo it. After that, I'm going to go back in with the original color that I put on all over my lid and just pack a little bit more on the top of my lid. Then I'm going to wet another brush with my MAC Studio Fix Plus. This will help brighten up any pigment, especially a shimmery pigment like this one. So when you apply it, it just comes on a little bit brighter when your brush is wet. Make sure when you're packing on pigment that you kind of want to do small tapping brush strokes. You don't want to brush it out because you want the pigment to stay in place. So just do small patting motions. And just in case you got a little bit too much shimmer on the lid, you can always go back in with a little bit more pigment from your crease and just blend it out. Then I'm going to fill in my brows with the Anastasia Dip Brow. I'm definitely going for a more natural look today, so I'm going to do pretty much small brush strokes in the direction of my brow. Not too crazy, not too thick, with just a little, little bit of the product on the brush. 
Y'all say hey to my roomie. She decided to crash my video. Hey, Maddie. And she got her onesie on. Don't judge. Just to clean up under my brows, I'll go in with my NYX Wonder Pencil and just kind of brighten up my brow bone a little bit. This always gives the effect that your eyebrows are snatched, even when they're not. Then I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Gel Liner. And I am using a Sephora Gel Liner brush. And I'll put the details below because I can't remember the number on it. I think it wore off the side of it. But I'm just going in. Um, I always go from the tail first and then kind of bring it in to the corner of my eye. And then once I finish my gel liner, I always go in with a liquid liner just to darken it up and then help correct any mistakes that you made with the gel and to sharpen the point. Now I'm ready to finish up the look, so I'm just gonna dust off the under eye set that I had. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Matte Fit Me Pressed Powder and just liven up my face a little bit, give it a nice, really tan glow. Um, I really concentrate mostly on the areas that I want to contour. And then you also wanna hit your neck area, and if you have on a low cut shirt, your chest, just to make sure that everything matches. I'm gonna do a really soft contour today, so I'm just gonna go in with my NYX Matte Bronzer and hit the hollows of my cheekbone. And then after that, I will do the same with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. With the Kat Von D Palette, you want to make sure you don't put too much product on your brush because this stuff is really pigmented, so I always just dab it and then I'll dust it off on my hand and then brush really lightly on the um, cheek. Take a little bit of bronzer and contour my nose a little bit. As you know, this is a soft look, so just gonna add just a little bit to define my nose, but nothing too crazy, nothing harsh. And then you wanna make sure you get the tip as well. Since I really wanna glow today, I'll probably use a really good amount of my Becca Cosmetics Skin Perfecting Highlight in Opal. I will hit the highlights of my cheekbones, my nose, and my Cupid's Bow, which is right above your lip. This just gives you the illusion that your lips are a little bit bigger. Then I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Mascara just to hit my bottom lashes. Then I will add my falsies. These are our Dell Lashes in the Demi Wispy, which are my absolute favorite. They just look super natural once you put them on. Um, just to darken it up, just to make sure that you don't see any glue after it's dry, just go back in with your NYC liner and hit that those parts and then just add your mascara after. Then for a cute little effect that I like to do, I will wet one of my smudging brushes and then go back in with the shimmer color that I use on my top lid and just add it into the corner of my eye. It's just a cute little glow I like to do. And then I'll use my NYX Wonder Pencil for my waterline just to open up my eyes a little bit. Now I'm gonna line my lips in my NYX Lip Liner Pencil. I believe this is nude pink, but I'll make sure to put the correct color in the description. And then after that, I'm gonna go over it with my MAC lipstick in Kinda Sexy. This is one of my faves. And then after that, I'll put a little bit of gloss on top just to give it a slight shimmer. This lipstick is really matte, but it's really pretty once you put it on. So here is the completed look. Super soft and sexy, feeling real glowy today and I'm loving it. If you have any questions, make sure to comment below. Thanks for watching guys.